Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. We offer a number of ways to help you with your journey here at Anxiety Coaches Podcast, and I hope you will take advantage of everything that we offer. Be sure to subscribe to this twice a week podcast. I'd also suggest visiting our website where you can sign up for our newsletter, you can listen to the 10-minute body scan meditation, and check out the group and one-on-one coaching options, along with the resources and more information on anxiety. Go to anxietycoachespodcast.com and check all that out today. In today's episode, I want to talk about some peaceful reminders that you can use when anxiety begins to arise. These are just reminders. They are things that you can keep in the back pocket for when you need to pull them out and use them. And I highly recommend that you use this technique or this practice, whatever you would like to call it, it because it can just become your new default to go to a place that is either neutral or that is helpful or that is calming instead of letting the mind ramble, letting it continue to run off into its negative or what if scenarios. So there are often times when we can't recall our regular tools or best practices. And we're not always in a position to go look it up or pull it out of our journal or wherever we have stored our reminders for what to do when we begin to feel the anxiety rising. So it's really beneficial to have a few coping thoughts, if you will, committed to memory. So what you want to do is find something that's easy enough for you to just remember. Um, I also suggest beyond what we're going to talk about today to find inspirational pieces of poetry or um, pieces of holy books, inspirations that come from a favorite book, anything that you might find, prayers that are feeling like you would like to commit them to memory. Sometimes these are longer forms, longer pieces that we can commit to memory over time. And that's a great practice because that's putting into ourselves something that will work for us versus just living in the default of not paying attention and letting the mind carry us away in its flow downhill into the wormhole, if you will, and taking us to on a negative ride that we really don't even need to be on. If we could just begin to rein in our thoughts and be able to you know, not particularly change them, but to be able to fill ourselves with different thoughts so that the other ones, the negative and anxiety producing thoughts can recede. They can be put on the back burner because in our forefront, we are carrying these other positive or neutral or feel good kind of thoughts. So we can call them many different things. We can call them inspirational quotes. We can call them little sayings. We can call them slogans. We can call them affirmations. Um, if you have found a few things that work for you and you're remembering them right now, just because I'm talking about this, I want you to jot them down. We can all use some help to endure the 
painful moments in life. Life comes along with painful moments, and we may find ourselves alone at those times and need to be our own best cheerleaders, to be strong, to stay on track. And so to have some of your personal favorite uh, coping thoughts or slogans top of mind, well, those can really help be reminders of how well you have met challenges in the past or how well you believe you can meet challenges, and they will give you strength in the current situation. Even though you may no longer experience the heart-pounding trip down the wormhole like we have all experienced at one time or another, you will still encounter moments that are going to Well, they may be triggers or they may cause you great distress. And I want you to be reassured um, by either a thought or a mantra that can remind you of the power that you have and the ability that you have to cope with what's going on because you have developed these skills along the way. And often we just need that little breather and the mantra or the slogan can help us get there. We can catch our breath and we can remember, yes, I can do this. And we want to keep these in our back pocket. Like I said, keep them close at hand. If you don't have them committed to memory yet, or if your memory doesn't serve you well, when you are stressed, which is very common, because, you know, that's not where our blood flow is going. That's not where our energy is going. When we are anxious, our energy, our blood flow, everything is going to fight, flight, or freeze. And so that is not the time to have great recall. So if you have trouble when you are stressed and you think you might, jot these down. Keep them close at hand until they become your new default. So when you first notice feelings of upset, agitation, um, anger even, or nervousness, you can pull up your coping thoughts. You can pull up these phrases to soothe yourself. Uh, You can use the ones that I have here. I'm going to read some to you and I'm going to read them slowly. And I want you to um, feel them as I'm reading them so that you can Begin to embody one or two of these and keep them for your own. Or you may, like I said, even just me talking about this, may be triggering your own slogans, your own mantras that you want to use. You can even combine a couple of these. You can make your own prayer. You can make your own combination. It will be beautiful because this is just for you. It will be going on inside you internally. Some people like to write them out also, and you can also record them and listen back to them. I have more than one client that is doing that, and every time I hear them mention it, it brings a smile to my face because to hear our own voice telling us these beautiful phrases can be so reassuring. So that might be another practice that you want to use. Uh, use your voice recorder on your phone, record yourself, and keep those handy so that you can listen to them in a time of need. These types of thoughts can help you to tolerate challenging situations. Um, they give you strength and courage and wisdom to endure the experience with more grace and ease. And what happens when we're anxious is that we we still have strength, we have courage, but we're not pulling them up because we are overwhelmed by the mind going to the negative place. So when we can grab on to one of these mantras and use them, to help us hold where we are, to help, they can help keep us floating and let us endure the situation because often in life we have things we need to endure. They're not particularly things that can be changed in the moment. And so we need to get through them. And so I want you to be able to endure these situations if they should come up for you with more grace and ease by using one of these mantras, a combination of these mantras, or the one that you have found for yourself. I suggest that you start using 
one of these today. You can begin by writing out the ones you like that I'm talking about, or you can combine them, write out your own, but write them out in your journal or on a three by five card or sticky notes and carry them with you until you know them by heart. And like I said earlier, you may want to use your voice recorder on your phone and make your own little mantra affirmation recording and label that so it's easy for you to find and go to it to hear your own voice speaking. Calming words of wisdom can be just, just amazing. It will bring you to a point of calm, maybe even faster than hearing someone else read these to you. And repeating a mantra or a prayer or a sl- saying or a slogan, re- you know, repeating these internally can be very relaxing and reassuring. And it can give you something to float with. Now, you know what I'm talking about when I talk about floating. We talk about that in episode number 326 is about floating when we talk about face, accept, float, and let time pass, like Dr. Claire Weeks talks about, the floating piece. These mantras and sayings can help you float. They can help keep you floating long enough to catch your breath, to say, I can do this, and to endure the situation or the moment with more grace and ease. So whether it's simply, this too shall pass, or a longer prayer or saying that speaks to you personally, repeat it over and over in your head until you feel the rising anxiety begin to subside. Remember, when we can give our mind and body the trigger of safety, when we can let it know that we are finally safe and By repeating these mantras, you can be giving that signal and giving the signal of safety in 90 seconds, we will begin to recede from sending out those hormones of stress, the adrenaline, the cortisol, and the entire cascade of stress hormones can be relieved. It can begin to subside and completely stop in 90 seconds of being safe. So give yourself that break of 90 seconds by using some of these peaceful reminders. Often when this practice is used, the saying or mantra will arise naturally, reminding you that the feeling will pass and that you are okay. So over time, you don't even need to consciously bring this up, but if you practice the same one or combination over and over, it will begin to arise naturally, reminding you that, wait a minute, you are safe, this will pass, and you are okay. Now let's get back to our peaceful reminders. First one, of course, is this too shall pass. I think most of you have heard that by now. And if you haven't, it's yours now. And we can all remember this at some point or another when we are struggling. So let that be the first one. This too shall pass. The next one I have is every moment is a fresh beginning. I am not a victim. I am a volunteer. What I am feeling or thinking is all temporary. I've felt it before and nothing happened. This will pass. I'm fine. This won't hurt me. Enter the space behind the mind. I have survived all the other panic attacks, and I will survive this one, too. 
This feeling is uncomfortable and I can accept it. Discomfort is not dangerous. I can feel distressed and still deal with the situation. This challenge is an opportunity for me to feel discomfort and not feel afraid. I can ride this out as it does always pass as my own experience has already shown me. My anxiety won't kill me. So what? I'm not in danger right now. I'm strong and I can deal with this. I am safe. I am okay. This too shall pass. And like I said, you can dig into your own inspirational reading, your own inspirations from your life, and make one that is special just for you. Some of those that I read came from our group coaching. Some of them are just old-time sayings that we've been saying forever to keep ourselves calm. And some of them are things that we just have developed here at Anxiety Coaches Podcast that we say over and over again, and they really help to bring people calm. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I hope that you will jot down yours in an email and send it to us. We might make a little collection of them someday. And I would love to hear how this is working for you. And if you came up with your own or what your favorite ones are, send us an email, anxietycoachespodcast at gmail.com. Before I read today's quote, I was wondering if you prefer the show without ads, or perhaps you might like to have access to the entire back catalog of over 600 episodes. Maybe you'd like some bonus meditation episodes. All of that and more are available for five bucks a month with our premium Supercast membership. Go to anxietycoaches.supercast.com and join us ad-free today. The link will be in the show notes. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at the anxietycoachespodcast.com.